Hello everyone, Yaldigo Namaskara. Welcome back to yet another series of Revision Marathon. Uh, today we are going to learn all the filling the blanks. So in one video, all chapters are filling the blanks. So we will cover the video. 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 Alright. Okay. So starting with microeconomics chapter 1. So chapter 1 only we have only 3 filling the blanks. Okay. So first one is scarcity of resources gives rise to. So scarcity of resources gives rise to what? It gives rise to the problem of choice. So I have highlighted it so that you remember. Alright. Second question. In a centrally planned economy, all important decisions are made by the government. So, centrally planned economy, all decisions are made by the government. Then, third one, in reality, all economies are, so all economies are mixed economies. Okay, our India is also a mixed economy, correct? Going to the next chapter. Now, chapter 2, theory of consumer behavior. Question number one is, want satisfying capacity of the commodity is dash. So, we call it as utility. Utility and the karitevita. Then, two difference, indifference curve never intersect each other. So, two indifference curve never intersect. That does not pass through one another. So, we have seen in the features of indifference curve. So, properties of indifference curve will be e point and an unknown there. Third one, as income increases, income increase adaga, demand curve for the normal goods. We are not talking about the inferior goods, we are talking about the normal goods. It shifts towards what? It shifts towards the right. So, right word. Fourth one, the demand for the good moves in the dash direction of its price. So, you can write inverse direction or you can write opposite direction. Okay, as the Nadra very good. Inverse and the no opposite. So opposite or inverse. Fifth one, method of adding two individual demand curve is called as market demand. It is called as market demand. Sixth one, an equation xy is equal to c gives us dash hyperbola. So it gives us a rectangular hyperbola. Third, third chapter, production and cost. Now, first question here is, in the long run, all inputs are. So, long run in Ali, now inputs are very modu, change modu. In the short term, it is fixed. But, in the long run, all the inputs are variable. Dash is defined as the output per unit. See, whenever I told, whenever there is this term per unit, your answer should be in average. So, answer is, Average product. Average product is defined as the output per unit of the variable input. Third one, marginal product and average product curves are dash in shape. So, marginal product with average product curves in a shape is inverse U shape. Inverse U and the other ulta U. When you do uh, U alphabet as ulta, Adil shape rata, adil shape ali marginal product masa average product curves kada shape rata. Question number 4. SMC curve cuts the AVC curve at dash point of AVC curve from below. So, it cuts from the minimum point. Okay, it cuts from the minimum point. Fifth one. Dash is a set of all possible combinations of two inputs that yield the same Maximum possible level of output. Answer is isoquant. Isoquant. Uh, now chapter 4. That is theory of firm under perfect competition. So here first question. Price taking behavior is a single most distinguishing characteristic of dash market. So price taking behavior is a characteristic or a feature of Perfectly competitive market. Perfect competition na feature. Adu. Second one. Dash is a tax that the government imposes per unit sale of output. So here, here don't go to, go to write average because there is per unit. So this is about the tax. Okay. So this is called as unit tax. 
ಇದನ್ನ ಯೂನಿಟ್ ಟ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಕರೀತಾರೆ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಒನ್ ಫಾರ್ ಪ್ರೈಸ್ ಟೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಫರ್ಮ್ ಮಾರ್ಜಿನಲ್ ರೆವಿನ್ಯೂ ಈಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಸೊ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಪ್ರೈಸ್ ಟೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಫರ್ಮ್ ಗೆ ಮಾರ್ಜಿನಲ್ ರೆವಿನ್ಯೂ ಯಾವ್ದಕ್ಕೆ ಸಮ ಆಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ದ ಮಾರ್ಕೆಟ್ ಪ್ರೈಸ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ದ ಮಾರ್ಕೆಟ್ ಪ್ರೈಸ್ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ಒನ್ ಸಾರಿ ಲೆಟ್ ಸಿರೀಸ್ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ಒನ್ ದ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ of minimum avc the point of minimum avc where the smc curves cuts the avc curve is called as what so then i now shut down point anta karithe so what is the shut down this is a point where the business will close okay it is not going to continue any operation so then i shut down point anta karithe then dash cost is some activity is the gain foregone from the second best activity so uh, the gain which is foregone from the second best activity we call it as opportunity cost we have dealt all of this it means the opportunity cost next chapter 5 market equilibrium first question says in a perfectly competitive market equilibrium occurs when the market demand dash market supply so market demand matu market supply equal iddaga matra there is a equilibrium correct alwa so market demand is equal to the market supply or you can write market demand equals market supply clear second one if the supply curve shifts rightward and the demand curve shifts leftward equilibrium price will be so equilibrium price decreases okay will be they have given decreases bari bodu or you can write low third one dash is determined at the point where the demand for labor and supply of labor curves intersect so here we determine the wage wage rate anna we calculate here not wage rate the wage is determined then in labor market dash are the suppliers of labor so households are supplying the labor fifth one due to rightward shifts in both the demand and supply curves the equilibrium price remains it remains the same athava unchanged antanu bariko you can write either same or unchanged sixth one it is assumed that in a perfectly competitive market and dash is at play so an invisible hand is at play so invisible hand it is a concept given by whom it is the concept given by adam smith all right moving to the next chapter chapter 6 non competitive markets so first question here the monopoly firm's decision to sell a larger quantity is possible only at a lower price lower price second one competitive behavior and competitive market structure are in general dash related so they are inversely related so related is already there in the question you just write inversely okay see one thing about the ncert syllabus is that you ncert exam gana face maduvaga ಹೆಚ್ಚಾಗಿ ಟೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಬುಕ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ಸ್ ಗಳನ್ನ ತುಂಬಾ ಪ್ರಿಫರ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಸೊ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಓನ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ಸ್ ಗಳನ್ನ ಆದಷ್ಟು ಅವಾಯ್ಡ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಗಿವ್ ದ ಎಕ್ಸಾಕ್ಟ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಟ್ರೈ ಟು ಗಿವ್ ದ ಎಕ್ಸಾಕ್ಟ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಟೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಬುಕ್ ಡು ನಾಟ್ ಯು ನೋ ಟ್ರೈ ಟು ಅವಾಯ್ಡ್ ದ ಓನ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ಸ್ ಆಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಎಸ್ ಪಾಸಿಬಲ್ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಒನ್ ಇನ್ ಮೊನೋಪೊಲಿ ಮಾರ್ಕೆಟ್ ದ ಗೂಡ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ ಸೋಲ್ಡ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ನೋ ಡ್ಯಾಶ್ ಸೊ ಗೂಡ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ ಸೋಲ್ಡ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ನೋ ಅದರ್ ಸಬ್ಸ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಟ್ ಯಾವುದೇ ಸಬ್ಸ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಟ್ ಇರೋದಿಲ್ಲ ಮೊನೋಪೊಲಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಗೂಡ್ಸ್ ಟೋಟಲ್ ರೆವಿನ್ಯೂ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಡ್ಯಾಶ್ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಫಾರ್ಮುಲಾ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಪಿ ಇಂಟು ಕ್ಯೂ ಅಂಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಪಿ ಇಂಟು ಕ್ಯೂ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ಪ್ರೈಸ್ ಇಂಟು ಕ್ವಾಂಟಿಟಿ ಸೋಲ್ಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಬೆಟರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಹೂ ಆರ್ ಏಮಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಸ್ಕೋರ್ ಮೋರ್ ದೆನ್ ನೈಂಟಿ ನೈಂಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಸಜೆಸ್ಟೆಡ್ ದಟ್ ಯು ರೈಟ್ ದ ಫುಲ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಶಾರ್ಟ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಗಳನ್ನ ಬರಿಬೇಡಿ ಬರೆದ್ರೂ ಬ್ರಾಕೆಟ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ full form anna bari okay don't just write p into q write price into quantity sold all right then the revenue received by the firm per unit of a commodity sold so here again firm per unit of a commodity sold the answer should be in average correct ah so average revenue then with the zero production cost uh, when the total revenue of the monopoly firm is a maximum what happens to the profit the profit is also maximum 
okay now moving on to macroeconomics so chapter 1 introduction from macroeconomics uh, please do not expect any explanations in these videos i can tell the explanations kodta hodre the video is going to be very long maybe 3 to 4 hours tagolbodu so that much time i know you don't have to spend on a video because uh, the time is very near now in one uh, in a month you have your uh, final examinations alva so nimma time kuda save aagli ant helkondu adustu short edta idene videos ke videos ana so we shall focus on completing the entire uh, syllabus in as shortest time as possible all right ओके सो ये गईडेंस बे अल नान गईडेंस को ना हिर् द फस्ट क्वेश्चन दि हस्ट इस मैक्रो इकोनमि ट्रई टू अड्रेस सिचुवेशन फेसिंग द इकोनमि आज अ हॉल सो हिर् जस्ट अट मी से हईलट सो हिर् यू नो दट मैक्रो इकोनमि वि स्टडी इट ऐस अग्रिगेट अल्वा सो मैक्रो इकोनमि इस बीन स्टडी ऐस अ हॉल नाट ऐस इंडिविजुअल second one a part of revenue which is paid out as dash for the service rendered by land so land ke koduvanta now reward yenu rent then third one the domestic country may sell goods to the rest of the world these are called as so this is called as exports fourth one dash will be called as firms firms anta na vyarana karidave production units utpadana unit galana utpadana कारखाने कारखानेकोमी at a particular point of time dash are defined at a particular point of time answer is stock stock is defined at a particular point of time second one dash goods will not pass through any more stages of production so answer is final goods final goods anta baribodu finished goods anta nu baribodu okay so uh, these are the ultimate products the last products is matte yavude production process anna pass agodilla third one dash is an annual allowance for wear and tear of capital good so ee wear and tear kanda takshana nim answer yenagirbeku your answer should be depreciation so this is the allowance given for wear and tear of the capital goods dash is a stock variable So stock variable याद होने तक क्या लगता है? Inventory. Inventory is a stock variable. Fifth one. Pollution is an example for dash externalities. So pollution is an example for negative externalities. So all these we have seen in the video of externalities. Externalities बाकी वो वीडियो मार देते हैं. So in that we have discussed in detail अगर. Right? So pollution is an example for negative externality. Sixth one. the net contribution made by a firm is called as value added it is called as value added then chapter 3 money and bank economic exchanges without the use of money are referred as to they are called as barter system goods are exchanged for goods so these are called as barter system sarakina badlike sarakanna padidukolluvantadu hana yavude हणव उपयोग dash issues coins in india so coins galanna issue maduvanta the one and only authority iruvantadu government na bali matra so it is the government of india or the government fourth one, the principal motive for holding money is to carry out so hanavanna uh, hold maduvanta mukhya uddesha enu anthe helidre to carry out the transactions okay so answer here is transactions fifth one m1 and m2 are known as dash 
so they are known as narrow money these are all concepts videos are there in the channel if you want you can have a look at all those videos so narrow money broad money bage already videos ide nimu kalkondidira so m1 m2 anna yen antu karite we call it as narrow money adhe rithi m3 matte m4 anna we call it as broad money now chapter 4 determination of income and employment first question see why cy shows the dependence of consumption on dash what is cy that is desired income alva so it is the dependence of consumption on income andre aadaya hechadaga nimma consumption na mele adu hege parinama vanna birutte how your increase in income or decrease in income that is going to have a effect on your consumption second one savings is that part of income that is dash so savings anta helidre yavadanna now consume maadlilvo adanna now savings anta karibodu so it is that part of income that is not consumed third one average propensity to consume is the consumption per unit of income it is the consumption per unit of income fourth one dash is defined as an addition to stock of physical capital so investment anna now addition to stock of physical capital anta kare fifth one the size of multiplier depends on the value of dash so answer is c c small letter c in the bracket you should also write marginal propensity to consume or mpc okay sixth one i bar is the positive constant which represents the dash investment in the economy so i bar ant helidre that bar that we write here on the dash that we write here it represents the autonomous so i bar ant helidre it is the autonomous investment so uh, this is it for the chapter 4 moving on to the so next chapter that is government budget and the economy so first question here is non paying users of the public goods are known as so we are now free riders and to carry them those who don't pay any money for the public goods second one financial year runs from dash to dash in india so april to march we have our financial year in india third one taxes imposed on goods imported into and exported out of india are called as dash so we call it as the customs duty fourth one Uh, the government may spend an amount equal to the revenue it collects this is known as dash so this is known as government budget fifth one revenue deficit is equal to revenue expenditure minus so formula you know revenue deficit is equal to revenue expenditure minus revenue receipts now coming to the last chapter of macroeconomics and also of the video today we have chapter 6 open economy So first question kelle dare dash is the record of trade in goods and services and transfer payments so whenever you see these three terms goods services and transfer payments your answer should be current account okay so goods services and transfer payments bandaga answer yenagirutte current account these are the components of current account second one dash account records all international transactions of assets so capital account records all international transactions of assets third one the price of foreign currency in terms of domestic currency has increased and this is called dash of domestic currency it means that the domestic currency has depreciated so it is called depreciation of domestic currency fourth one dash is a mixture of flexible and fixed exchange rate system so flexible and fixed exchange rate na combination anna we call it as managed floating managed float or managed floating fifth one the bretton woods conference was held in the year dash so this happened in the year 1944 so yes this is one practice question for you all so five filling the blanks i have given uh try to recall the answers for this okay uh this is it for today's video i believe filling the blanks ali um just to authentic agi answer anna kodlik agutte nanu directly from your ncert textbook only i have given uh adrunu elladru ond ed mistakes idre 
I, I don't believe 99.99% the answers are genuine and correct. But in case there is any mistakes, all are human beings, all are machine, all are mistake, idre, they have to comment on it. Or even if there is any ambiguity in the answers, please let me know in the comment section. Okay. So that is it. And uh, I hope the revision marathon series is helping you all uh, for you all to revise for your final examinations. So please do like the video, do share it with your friends and also do comment if it's helping you all. Uh, and if you want to subscribe to the channel, you can subscribe to the channel. If you want to subscribe to the channel, you can subscribe to the channel. You can subscribe to the channel. You can subscribe to the channel. Alright. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye. Namaste.